Hello and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Kuro, a game where we play as this little girl named Kuro who happens to suffer from amnesia. So let's see if we can help her find her lost memories. Many moons ago, my memories were murdered. Awaken in a hospital with a new life to start. In my restless dreams, I keep coming back to this place. Tomorrow won't be the same. Okay, and then tab is for our inventory, which we don't have anything in. Wooden sign, spacebar to interact. The sign reads, Shigido Shrine. Wooden pedestal. Something seems to be missing. Well, let's see if we can find that missing thing. An old tombstone. The name Mew has been carved in it. Oh, I was hoping to see whatever that shiny thing was. All right. There's no uh, sprint button, so that's our speed right there. Basement door, space bar to interact. Put in door leading to the basement. It is locked. The door has been firmly shut. Numerous seals are placed upon it. Write something? Nothing happened. <laughs> oh, what about if we try Mew? Did something happen? Did I scare you? It wasn't my intention. My name is Miyu. So, what's your business here? Pillage this shrine's treasure? Uncover its secrets? Just kidding. I know what you came in here for. I know who you are. As you can probably tell, I... I am no longer a part of this world. I'd... I'd like you to find my body, so I can move on. I do not remember much, so I don't have a lot of clues for you. I'll tell you everything about who you are if you help me. It must remain somewhere within the walls of this shrine. Please be careful, however. We are not alone. I need a rest for now. I'll let you transport me. Rusty old lantern. The light it emits soothes your soul. Receive the lantern. Tutorial. Inventory. Press tab to open your inventory. Press spacebar to equip. Press tab again to close. Alright, we see blood. Let's see what else we can find. Nothing there. A wooden door. A tight knot is around the handle. Something sharp could cut it. Oh, I saw that. What's going on? The disassociation ritual. On the 13th day of the 12th month, a maiden cut off from the outside world for 10 years shall be torn apart. Her head and body shall be separated by a ceremonial knife. Then, the circle shall be drawn using the maiden's blood. Her body parts are to be disposed in a circle. Doing so will trade the maiden's soul for peace with demons. The rest of the text is undecipherable. 
Something slips off the pages. Receive basement key. Oof. That uh, ritual kind of reminds me a little bit of the one from uh, Fatal Frame. Only instead it was ropes. Ropes instead of a knife. So I know we got the basement key. I just want to see if there's anything else around here. Doesn't look that way. So we can leave. Let's go check out the uh, basement. That that, that door was... Uh, we, need a, we need like a knife for that one. So that window just broke. Oops, I did not mean to go outside. Wooden door. Use the basement key. The door unlocked. TV. A low hum is coming off the TV. Hmm. Well... Let's go swim uh, to the tree. I'll move the little mouse cursor out of the way so it doesn't bother you guys. Who is this? Everyone was head over heels for her. Though her mere presence, she drives people into jealous rages. They often led to brutal acts of violence among the priests of the shrine. Her skin was just like silk. Alive, young, pure. If only she would have seen me as more than a guard. Everything was fine until that man came and took her heart. When I found her corpse, her head was missing. I finally had an opportunity to have a piece of her. Jesus. I had to take her heart, just like that man did when she was alive. This alone didn't quench my hunger. I had to taste her flesh. What is wrong with you, dude? To get closer to her than any man could ever have. When I think about it, you took a lot. You look a lot like her. Oh damn! Guessing he hung himself. Sharp knife. Receive knife. He dropped something. Should probably use it. Oh, maybe we can cut him down? Use the knife and open his belly. Oh, no, we cut him open so we can take the heart. Received me his body. Alright, nothing else in here. We can go cut that door open now. Wooden door. Tight knot is around the handle. You use a knife and cut the knot. Alright, let's bring... What is that blue thing? We're gonna bring out the lantern so we can see. Oh, nothing there. A wooden bookshelf. Some scratch marks are on the ground. We decide to push it. Okay, before we go in there. Yeah, let's check this out. A diary lays on the table. Diary of Father Shigito. I know I made something terrible, but it was stronger than me. When I found her, I decided to cut her head and take it. I can hear her speak to me at night, telling me how much she loves me. You refused me, but you smiled. 
She looks just like her mother. Her twin sister Kuro is nothing like her. She's like her despicable father. How could such a man get a woman like her mother? I will do anything to make Kuro regret her existence. I keep her locked behind my bookshelf since the incident. I will keep her alive. She will wish that she died. Oh, damn. I mean, our name is Kuro, I believe. Blood is leaking through a bag. Received Mew's head. We got her head. And we got her body. A diary lays on the bed. Kuro's property. Don't touch. You decide to trespass the warning. All this happened because of Mew. I hate her so much. I wish she died sooner. Always in her shadow. Nobody discovered it, but I am the one who killed her. I stabbed her to death. And leave her to rot. Father Shigito got me locked up here since the incident. Nobody suspects that her own twin murdered her. Nobody will know. How right it felt. Oh, damn. So we killed her? So did we take her body back here and, uh... Bring her back. Two empty circle are drawn on the ground. You put Mew's body in place. Place Mew's head in place. Something happens. So, this is how I ended up, right? What a pitiful fate. No wonder my soul was kept here all this time. And... About your past. You are the one who killed me. It's okay to remember now. I do not hate you anymore. I know how everyone treated you because of me. I knew how you felt about my future husband. If I could, I would have given it all to you. But I don't have control over how people were around me. Father was always forcing me to do all these things. I only wanted to see my sister one last time. I'm glad you came back here after all this time. Now. Let's go home together. Someday we'll be together again. Damn! Well... There you go, there's uh, Kiro. I liked it. It was a nice short little game. I love the, uh, it says Haunted PS1, but it gave me more of a Nintendo 64 vibe than a PS1 vibe. Still, I liked it, I enjoyed it. I wouldn't mind seeing something like this uh, a little bit longer though. That'd be pretty cool. Like, I, I love this old throwback style. But yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, everybody. Later.